welcome back to my channel so today I created this look here I posted a picture of this look on Instagram and you guys loved it that's kind of how it goes down is I'll post a look on Instagram if you guys love it you request it and I sit down and film it now I had already filmed this last week but to be honest the footage was just shitty no valio madre I was I was not feeling it but I said you know what I really want to film something like this for my channel I think it would be perfect so I was like, let's try this again. If it doesn't work the first time, we're going to make it happen the second time. And honestly, quedó más chingón than it originally came out the first time I did it. I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do like this look, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. I will go ahead and quit rambling here and we'll get started. So to begin, I'm taking my Becca concealer. This is my favorite one. And I'm just going to lightly apply this all over. My brows have already been cleaned up. And this is just to create a blank canvas. To set that, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color C4. I'm just going to lightly set this. And that prevents any creasing from happening throughout the day. For this look, I'm actually taking my Tarte Toasted Palette. I'm going to use that matte brown. And I'm going to go ahead and start sketching out this wing with well, the brush that I'm using is just the Anastasia double-ended brush it comes with all of the palettes I really like it because it's dense and short so that's able to give me the color payoff that I want by depositing enough color and I'm just pretty much creating a wing with shadow the very very first time I did this look I actually went into black first y valió madre I fucked everything up it was just it was harsh it was unblended so always start with the medium tone first then I'm going to take this like burnt orange from the palette and with a pencil brush. This one's from the Pretty Bar. And I'm going to slowly start softening the edges of the brown. This is going to create that really smooth effect. Next, I'm going to take this eyeliner from Pat McGrath with my Morphe M432. It's just a flat definer brush. I'm going to work the color in as close as I possibly can to my lash line and slowly start creating a wing with this eyeliner. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't just use eyeshadow. I feel like the black eyeliner creates a stronger base so I don't have to spend so much time packing and blending. What I'm doing now is just taking the same Anastasia brush with the same dark brown shadow and diffusing the black eyeliner slightly. Next I'm going to take this Sigma eyeliner which is a bomb AF. I'm going to just sharpen up this liner. This is optional, you don't have to do this but I feel like this kind of made everything pop and made my line a bit more crisp going in and just adding this to the base of my lash line. Y no te agüites if it doesn't come out perfect the first time because you know what? This took me so many attempts. I'm telling you, I filmed this last week and it was horrible. It was horrible. So I'm really happy with how it came out today. To make things a bit more crisp, I'm just taking concealer and winging it out. You guys can see how much more sharp my liner looks already. The lashes I'm using are these and they're super pretty, full, and wispy. I will leave the exact name and company linked down below in my description box. And you guys, these pelitos cabrones had been driving me nuts. I took my tweezers and I just tweezed them out. So if you're in the struggle bus too, girl, don't worry about it. If you don't got time to wax, just grab your tweezers y vamonos recio. I took my Farsali Unicorn Tears, my first time trying this, and I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted to see what the hype was because I see these all over Instagram. I thought it did alright, like it left a really nice tacky feel to my skin. My foundation routine hasn't changed much to be completely honest, so I am going to fast forward this part slightly. I just took my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation on my Beauty Blender and I actually mixed two shades, number 20 and number 22. For concealer, I'm taking my favorite Becca concealer. I'm in the shade beige. This is my second bottle of this concealer. I love it. I was hooked on when I seen Desi Perkins use it and I was like, let me give it a shot. I love it so much. It doesn't look cakey. It's hydrating and I think it's more of a medium to full coverage. I'm telling you, not a lot has changed. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. Mine's just looking a little crusty, but still good. I'm going to take that with my Morphe M. I'm sorry, it's the E53 brush. I love this brush. It's so soft and it applies powder really well. I'm going to now contour. I'm taking this shade from Makeup Geek. It is called Bad Habit. It's really pretty because I think it's a little bit darker than the Benefit Hula Bronzer, so it works a little better for my complexion. And the formula blends out really nicely. So I'm just going to chisel my cheeks and contour slightly. 
So to bronze my skin, I'm going to take my MAC MSF in the color dark and I'm going to warm up my cheeks. You guys know that I don't like blush, so this kind of works as my blush. It adds a little bit of color and warmth to my skin. Jumping back into my Tarte palette, I'm going to take this medium orange shade again with my Morphe M519 brush. I'm going to add this underneath my lash line to create warmth before we go in with the darker shades. Then I'm going to apply eyeliner to my waterline. I'm making sure that I go in and diffuse the liner before it fully dries so that way it's not hard to blend out and I can create a really nice smoky effect on my lower lash line. One more time with that matte brown, I'm now going to merge these colors together. That way there's a nice gradient between the black, the brown, and the orange. This part's optional too, you don't have to do that. I just wanted to add a little bit of like a cat eye effect. So I added a little bit more liner to the inner corner. And then to finalize everything, I'm just adding my Ico mascara, adding one coat to my top and bottom lashes to add a little bit more drama to the look. Okay, so if you're my complexion or darker, you have to try this lip liner. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the color True Brown K. I thought this would be too dark, but I feel like if you go light-handed, it's a really pretty lip liner to use for any nude or neutral lip. So I'm just going to fill my lips in with this and then take my Always On liquid lipstick from Smashbox Cosmetics. This is in the shade Psychic Medium. Over that, I'm going to use my Buxom Gloss in the color Dolly. For my highlight, I'm taking this one here from Pop Beauty and it's in the color Gilded Light. These are brand new. I got them in PR last week and I love them. They're very underrated. The brand in general is underrated. You guys know I talk about that Bare Nectar lip gloss a lot. But anyway, this highlighter is very pretty. It has like a rose gold tone to it. This here is the final look. I hope you guys really like this tutorial. Leave me your feedback. Leave me some comments below and I'll go ahead and see you beauties in my next tutorial.